Let's start with question number 14. It says Selvi's house has an overhead tank in the shape of cylinder. This is filled by pumping water from a sump which is in the shape of a cuboid. The sump has dimension of 1.57 meter, 1.44 meter, 95 centimeter. The overhead tank has its radius 60 centimeter, 95 centimeter respectively. One day while pumping the water into the tank, the power shuts down and the tank is filled up to a height of 70 centimeter. So, they have changed the height of 70 cm. Now, they are saying find the remaining water in the sum. So, here you have to keep some values in your meter and some values in your centimeter. So, the sum is in the sum of the sum of the sum of the cuboidal dimensions. 1.57 meter. This is what they have shown. This is the sum of the sum of the sum. What do they have to place? ओवरहेड टैंक सो यहाँ पे लेंथ हो गई 1.57 ब्रेड्थ हो गई 1.44 मीटर हाइट हो गई 95 सेंटीमीटर है ना इसको कन्वर्ट कर लोगे मीटर में 0.95 मीटर इट विल बी एंड देन यू हैव अ सिलेंडर और सिलेंडर का रेडियस कितना है इट इस 0.6 मीटर हाइट कितनी है 0.95 मीटर राइट अब हमें क्या बताना है रिमेनिंग वाटर इन द सम so yes, you will take the volume of sum first and then subtract it with the tank rate, uh, tank volume. सबसे पहले sum का volume निकाल लेते हैं. So volume of sum will be equal to 1.57 into 1.44 into 0.95. Now multiply these three and whatever your answer be, it will be in meter cube first of all. So, let's multiply it with 1.57 into 1.44 into 0.95. So, this is coming out to be 2.1, sorry, 2.1 it is, 2.14 meter cube. Now, uh, you have to take height of the tank as 70 centimeter. Because they are saying, saying that power shuts down and tank is filled up to a height of 7 cm, 70 cm only. So let's do it. So volume of tank will be equal to pi r square h. Because how is the shape of it? Cylindrical. So yes, you will use pi r square h. 3.14. r square is 0.6 square. And then h, h is 0.6. 95. Now multiply all these, you will get your answer and then you will subtract it with the volume of sum. So it is 3.14 into 0 0.36 into 0 0.95. Sorry, h in this case will be 70, not 0 0.95. So it will be 0 0.70 for you. ठीक है क्योंकि उन्होंने बोला कि सेवेन सेवेंटी सेंटीमीटर तक ही इट कैन बी फिल्ड सो इट इस जीरो पॉइंट सेवेन नाइन वन मीटर क्यूब नाउ यू कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस टू वैल्यूज सो जीरो पॉइंट सेवेन नाइन वन एंड टू पॉइंट वन फोर सो यू विल गेट द अप्रॉक्सिमेट वैल्यू आस वन पॉइंट थ्री मीटर क्यूब दिस इज So it says, okay, we are done with this. We'll move to the next slide. How many times the cylindrical tank can be filled by the completely filled sum? So, kitni matlab bar aap cylindrical tank ko fill kar sakte ho if you are using the water from the sum. So, what you will do is you will take a volume of cylinder. Or you can write tank. Over volume of sum. This will give you the ratio between these two and the numbers you have to. You can fill the cylindrical tank. So volume of cylindrical tank kya jayega 3.14 R square which is 0.6. 0.6 into h what is h in this case 0.95 divided by volume of sum it will be 1.57 into 1.44 into 0.95 
now you can cancel these two and then you can divide the numerator and denominator you will get one by two so इससे क्या समझ आता है कि आप कितनी बार volume of cylindrical tank को fill कर सकते हो you can fill it twice because two आपका left side चला जाएगा as it is in the ratio so you can take two to the left side is equal to one into volume of sump so इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि आप volume of sump में से कितनी बार पानी फिल कर सकते हो सिलेंड्रिकल टैंक के लिए दो बार सो येस दिस इज योर आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ वी आर डन विद दिस प्रैक्टिस पेपर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस एंड येस हैव अ ग्रेट डे